welcome back to some more, uh, Nehrim. It is I, Xylestar, and today we're going to be continuing onward with the side story still. Uh, I think that we wanted to go and... Yeah, because I think after this one we have one more main quest before we get towards that area where I got stuck on. So yeah, so as you can see, uh, we have a lot of different stuff now. Uh, as you can... Well, as you can see... We have a lot of different stances and a lot of different abilities. So, I wanted to say this from last time, uh, is that I wanted to add all of these stances, so we get to see all of them, kind of deal, while we're playing around with the game. And not only that, we also get to see how well each and every one of them sort of operates. I did look at a old neighborhood forum kind of thing, and someone was saying, like, uh, like, how is each and every class, and everybody's like, oh, mage is probably the best. And uh, I was like, oh, okay. But I decided to add all of them. Uh, I know what all of them do, or have an idea of how all of them do, kind of thing, but that's pretty much it. So I think I was looking at something, and I actually really did like it, uh, was this one. Because I was, I was briefly reading uh, the classes, because I thought the classes might actually boost uh, skills, or do something that makes them more easily. And I read this, and I wanted to see if it's actually true. It says it costs 70 magic, but I didn't see my magic ever go down. But pretty much what that gives you is it gives you a potion that will actually restore your magicka. Or is it because... Oh, yeah, that's right. I did not fix that from last time. So, I'll fix that right now. Player... Does it have... Oops. Putting numbers in there instead of actually... Magic. Uh, we'll put that as a... How much is 30? No, I think I had a little bit higher magic than that, so we'll go 60 then. Is my magic higher now? Than it was before? Because it wasn't that low before. It was higher than my uh, health not too long ago. We'll stick with that for now. So I'm going to go keep an eye on that. So that's a 90. Uh, I will literally go start a new character, find out how to get the same magical level, and then I'll do it that way. Because uh, I'm getting tired and sick and tired just going like, oh, what's the number now? So yeah, so I pretty much drained all of my entire equip, uh, like everything in my inventory for the most part. It's kind of weird that this one is the only one that's broken. Like, if you look at all these, they all have the same, like, inventory layout. And then this one's just, like, the old. It's weird. Okay, then. So, let's see. Where, where are we going next? What, what Do I have a different side quest that we can do? Uh, we can't do this. It's a level 30 quest. I guess we could, like, start doing all the things until it notifies us that it's a level 30 quest. And then we could do Frostfinger. We should be decently leveled for that. Uh, we're level 12, so that should be pretty interesting to do. Uh, yeah, we did all that stuff. Oh, uh, something else that I did off-screen as well is that I also added the other items from that uh, reward so I think it was the Gilded Short Sword, the Gold Plated Writer's Bow, and what was the other one? It was the uh, the Stone People Mace, that's what it was. I added all of them off screen, so that way that we can change depending on what we want. I did not enchant any items off screen to what we had it before, but I will do that after this session. I said I want, I want lighter stuff, we'll probably go with light armor for now. Other boots of sneaking. Eh. No, let's go with uh, the shadow touch boots. Yeah, those look actually pretty nice. Those look like actually they could possibly help us. Uh, anything else that could possibly help us in any way, shape, or form? The robe. Let's see. Is it just the boots that govern speed? doesn't really look like it. I think it governs based on how much heavy armor you have, and that's like practically the whole suit. 
Never mind. We'll just use this anyway. It's how yeah, it's better than what I was running anyway. Okay. Uh let's go ahead and grab the quest first, but I'm gonna try and grab the uh the mage lady's uh what was your name again? I don't remember. Yeah, my name's okay. Let's go grab your uh teleport runes. We'll grab all of them. You have the money for it. Uh, you take all of the hides and such. Yay. Uh, and this pelt too, why not? So if I remember from last time, we were able to grab all the, uh, the hunter books. I never actually really did see, uh, how well those books actually worked. Uh, even when, uh, this was only just a mod add-on kind of thing for, uh, Oblivion when I was testing around seeing if I could even run Nerum and uh, it was a lot of fun actually I had a I had a blast I have a different quest or something like that why isn't it huh right I don't care uh, let's go here we'll go to Arathen. Uh the only thing I need to worry about is stamina fine or not stamina, uh, what's it called? Uh, fatigue? That's fine. So I think from what I remember of last time, wow, that's a interesting uh, way, way to put me. Okay, well, or interesting place to put me. Wow, interesting. Uh, I'm trying to remember exactly everything that ended up uh, happening last time. I know we got, I think, I think we bought all of the hunting books. I could be wrong about that. So we are now able to collect everything from, you know, hunting. So that would be pretty cool. So that means that we should be getting maximum profit from it. I think uh, when I was playing this before, I really wanted to um, to buy them. I was really interested in them, but we wanted to, but I wanted to buy the uh, the house in Erethin first. But at least now we'll have a, like nothing I really want to spend on. We'll just be able to go straight to just buying the house in Arathen. So I wonder if it, you get the quest before you buy it. I could be wrong. Yeah, I noticed this before where certain areas lag a little bit for no reason at all. I think the first time I went through here, in terms of um, recording, we had like no lag or no nothing, like no problems at all. And then all of a sudden, now we having uh, those problems. This is weird. So in order to do that, uh, I think the area we need to go to is up here, right? Yes. We have to go to the Erethin Courthouse. And with this, we need to drop down here. I don't remember the. Broker is eyes over here. Okay. Hello, buddy. Tell me more. Oh, okay. He never described the neighborhood as pleasant. <laughs> Ich 
Ihr müsst euch nämlich nicht nur die Uhr kennen. Alles im Haus ist doch genau so, wie es heißt. Kleine Dinge von zu sehen, für 10.000 Uhr zu lassen. Ist das ein Angebot oder ist das schlichtweg einfach nur fantastisch? Oh, was 10.000? I don't remember, it's 8. Okay, whatever. Uh, I don't want to buy the house. Or maybe it was always 10,000. Oh, no? Okay. It's weird that there's a bounty board into the courthouse. Weird, but okay. Yeah, you never describe a house or a neighborhood as uh, pleasant. Because uh, that's not really a good, like, uh, good description of the location kind of thing. Judge's house. No, it's not where I need to go. Where is this one guy's house? It was, um... Oh, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was over here. Yeah. Notice. Oh, it's just his notice. Okay. Okay, then. Hi. What the heck is that? Okay, I'm not going to draw too much attention to it. Hi, buddy. Okay. Cool. Uh, save like we did before. There we go. Every 10 minutes will save. Need some precaution. Uh, we're only going to be doing a... I think I said I was going to try and do even sessions. Like, uh, like there will only be like two, four, six kind of videos from each session. Uh, unfortunately, I did a Nayrum session odd numbered. I think it ended it off with five episodes. And I think I did that... I think once or twice, I think. I don't know. But anyway, so the complete videos are only uh, in an odd number, so we're going to need to um, change that a little bit for today. So today we'll be doing an odd number of uh, number of videos instead of an even number. So, hooray. And this way, this way the uh, the one and only video, I'm sorry guys, is it for today? No, I'm kidding, okay. Let's continue on. Uh, I think that quest, it is level 30, right? It doesn't say? What? It said before. It said before. It said, like, right here. It says, like, oh, you must be, like, level 30 or something like that. Or you'll have an easier time being when you're level 30. Weird. Okay. Well, whatever. It's fine. Uh, let's see here. I okay, survived the attack. I can now go to the Abbey. Should see if that's supposed to be still part of my current quests. 
Uh, go check the wiki for that, or if there's a bug where you have to do something in order to finish that, then we'll definitely do that. Okay, the merchant for light armor and earthen. Five bunches of finest spider silk I can find. Stretching from Southern Forest and the Northern Realm. Where is that, uh... Is it enhanced? Ah, it's enhanced, okay. So, she wants me to go to over here and collect. Or go over... Pretty much this general area. Okay, uh... There's the Nellis Docks. Oh, I remember going to the Nautilus docks. Yeah, we crashed about five times getting all the way over there, and I was always in gen this general area. Then when I saved it close to there and we did that, yeah, I remember that. That was awesome. That was a fun time. We crashed over here, and then I decided to save, like, right around here. Then we crashed again, and then by the time I was able to get past this crash, I was over here. I went a little bit over here. <laughs> it was amazing. I love doing that. Yeah, but we'll, I think we'll go and, uh, uh, where's that mage guy? Where's that mage guy? 